everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, hello Indy. <laughs> that was our dog Indy just saying hello as well. Um, anyway, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new as well. I've noticed that there's been a few new subscribers lately. So hello, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, welcome back for a new video. So today I'm tackling a job that I've been putting off for ages. You'll have seen from the title, but I'm going to be cleaning and a bit of organising our utility room. And this is a room we use all the time, every day, and it ends up just being a bit of a catch-all um, where we've got people coming round. I just kind of chuck stuff in there. So I've set the camera up. <laughs> this is a rookie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to move the camera. <laughs> I've done a rookie error. I've set the camera up. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm laughing because I was considering doing like a really nice aesthetic video and it's already just descended into chaos. Um, so the camera is set up in front of Indy's food and water bowls. She's just been playing outside and I've just got her in. So if you can hear crunching, if the camera gets moved, it's Indy. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm just going to get into it. But basically, I'm cleaning and organising our utility room today and I thought that if I filmed it it would be good motivation to get it done and have a chat to the camera like I've got my friends with me and I'm just chatting as I do it so that's what I'm gonna do so if you need a gentle reminder or a sign to get a job done today this is it even if you want to put me on in the background whilst you're doing that job this is your sign to get it done. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a pet. I just love to know if people have pets and what kind of pet you have. And also, let me know down in the comments below which is your least favourite space in your house to clean. This isn't actually my least favourite because it's only a small, small-ish room, so it doesn't take that long. But because we have our tumble dryer in here, the fluff just gathers so quickly. And like I say, because it's catch-all, I just chuck everything in there. I'm laughing because I can just hear him do. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, did I put this in your way? There you go. You can get your food now. <laughs> I'm just going to get into it. This is cleaning and organising a bit. Our uh, utility room. sorting out a space is when you come across random things that you've not looked at for ages so I just came across our tea box and I actually got this from it's an Aldi special buy that I bought like ages ago now but I keep in here which I'd completely forgotten about a load of herbal teas and I just saw this one it's a twinings glow strawberry and cucumber with green tea and aloe vera how good does that sound completely forgot that these were all in here so i think i might be having oh and an organic peppermint from taylor's these are really nice as well i like this brand a lot it's a really nice brand of tea i think i might have one of those in a bit i'm glad that i randomly 
came across this tea box. Whilst I'm in here, I just wanted to mention a couple of our Costco favourites because I hope you can hear me by the way over the sound of the washing machine. But this is our sort of overflow pantry come utility, that's how we use it. And a lot of things from Costco end up in here. And a few of our favourites that we've currently got sitting around in here is the Quaker Oh So Simple Golden Syrup Porridge Sachets. I love these. If you like something warm in the mornings for your breakfast and if you've got a bit of a sweet tooth like me, this is perfect. And it took me ages to actually try porridge because I always thought it was very liquidy and not my kind of texture but these you can add as much or as little milk as you like and it's literally two minutes in the microwave um, and that's it so we've got a 50 pack sachets of golden syrup porridge I can't remember how much any of these are but they're Costco buys and then we also have the giant jar <laughs> The giant jar of sourdough style pretzels. Gran loves these. We always have to get one when we go to Costco. This is actually from not our last trip, but our trip before because they didn't have any of these left when we went last time. But they are really good pretzels to be fair. You'll see what I mean as well about all of the dust from the tumble dryer. It isn't a collection of dust that you get normally in the air it's like a collection of dust from when the tumble dryer's been on and I change the filter like empty it and clean it after every single use but it is quite an old one Grant's mum and dad gave it to us when we moved in so I don't know it keeps plodding on though it keeps working we don't want to get rid of it so I don't know I just keep cleaning this every now and again but I mean this is like maybe two weeks of dust build up but anyway, these are the substitute we got last time at Costco because they didn't have the big jar of pretzels in. So we got these, which are the peanut butter pretzels. Oh, I never noticed that actually. There's a cute little picture on the front there. Um, but these are basically little pretzel square things filled with peanut butter. Now these, if you've not tried them, get yourself to Costco and get some of these because they are the next pretzels. They are so good. When Grant picked them up, I was a bit like, hmm, not sure about them. But I am fully on the peanut butter pretzel train now. They are amazing, they're really good. So we've got some of these. Um, and the last thing, these ones aren't actually from Costco, but they do sell them in Costco. And I'm pretty sure that for these instant baby milk, it works out. It's quite a good deal at Costco. So if you have a card, it's worth checking out the baby stuff. Um, this is just a pack from Boots, but you can get the big pallet size boxes. Just removing the last few bits and bobs so that I can get down to all the surfaces and start with cleaning. of the room and work my way down. So I'm starting with hoovering and then I'm using the Zoflora wipes and this fragrance has been my favourite throughout spring and summer. I use this handy little fold out stool all the time just to help me get up to those higher places when I need it and it just comes in so useful. I'm just giving the whole room a really good hoover up first of all just to get rid of all that excess dust. Even on the draining board, it gathers everywhere in here. I'm then going to use my small household spray. This is a great multi-purpose cleaner and it smells really nice too. Now I've moved on to these surfaces so I can just give everything a good wipe down, get rid of that layer of dust. Moving on to the sink, I'm just going to give it a clean with some washing up liquid. We don't really use the sink in here, it's more just the storage space. There is some dried on paint and a few stains on here because it's been a while since I last gave it a good clean. So I'm also just going to go over it with 
everything a really good hoover up again just get rid of all of that dust moving on to the cabinets I'm just going to give a spray and a good wipe down and then this window also gathers so much dust so I'm just going to give this a good clean one of my favorite cleaning products to use is this flash floor cleaner it smells incredible and I'm just using this lightweight mop this is just one from Amazon but it's really nice to just be able to spray and clean really quickly and then finally once everything is clean I'm just going to pop everything back in its place so I've just finished organizing everything before I put it all back in and I basically did that by finding out first of all what is going to go back in there and what isn't going to. Then I also had a few other things which I found other homes for because it gathers so much dust in there. I just try and keep as little as possible out on the side basically. Porridge sachets, I've been able to pop those in a cereal cupboard instead. So yeah, I've been able to find a couple of different homes for things. And then the things that are going back in there, I've tried to see if I can get them in the big cupboard, which is behind this door. And then other things that are gonna have to just sit out on the side, I've just cleaned them and popped them back out because for now, that is the best that we can do. So it's not perfect, but I just wanted to film a realistic, clean, organized, tidy with me. <laughs> And I do feel so much better now that it's done. It smells so nice in there now. The washing has actually just finished, so I'm gonna pop that in the tumble dryer. Probably blow up a load more dust and I'll need to do it again, but there we go. It just feels cleaner, tidier, and that makes me feel better. So I'm glad that I've got that job ticked off my list. So like I said earlier, if you have got a job, this is your sign to tackle it today, even if it's just a little one. So I'm gonna end this video here, I think, but I hope that you've enjoyed it. Been a bit of a random one, but like I say, I feel like it motivates me to do my cleaning and things when I can see others doing it. So I hope it might help you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. Drop a comment down below for me. I'd love to have a chat down there. And I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.